Good morning. Good what day, is, as you would say. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is this triple threat? <laughs> You've never heard of it either? <laughs> really? You have n- you've never heard of triple threat before? No, I haven't. Wow. Well, I mean, in America, we call triple threat to people that, you know, are talented in more than, I guess, one or two things. And three so things. So <laughs> three. <laughs> and three things, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Now, man, you're right. We've just woken you up in your hotel room. You guys are in Brisbane at the moment. So for all our listeners that are heading down to Bris Vegas to go and check you guys out, give us a bit of a rundown of the show because you're the main choreographer of the whole Funhouse. Yes, yes. Um, me and actually my friend Alison, who's also in the show, um, Little Redhead, she's amazing. Um, yeah, we, we tackled the show. We really did. How do you start off by, like if, if Pink came up to you and said, hey, look, I want you to work on my tour, how do you come up with your ideas for it? Because it is an amazing show. It's out of this world cool. Thank you, thank you. Um, there's a there's a process. We have like, um, obviously, you know, you listen to the album and you have a couple production meetings with the, with the director of the show and everybody kind of just throws ideas out and, um, you know, what, what they feel the song, each song, can bring and whatnot and um yeah and, 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 and interesting enough like with this group like we were all on the same page so when the ideas were thrown in like everybody was like yeah that sounds great that sounds great so it just it just makes that much sense and it makes it that much better you know what i mean so what you're pretty much saying is you, you feel the music and uh, when you're listening to it, it it just however your body reacts to it is this the way you sort of go um yeah pretty much I like it (laughs) Um, do you love how um, you're working with such an amazing artist and an artist that that will take all of your crazy ideas on board do you sometimes work with some artists that go oh no thanks would rather go a different way whereas Pink just goes yes 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 I'll do that I'll hang from the ceiling I'll flip out of the (laughs) ribbon I'll go nuts and do all this crazy stuff that you're throwing at me is that kind of a cool feeling yeah she's amazing Um, she she loves the challenge she loves the challenge. She's definitely not a yes a yes woman. She knows what she wants. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, she loves the challenge. She loves it. She'll try it. She'll try it once. She'll try it twice before she says, "No, I'm not interested." You know what I mean, like I saw the show a couple of weeks ago. It is full on. You guys are doing what fifty something around the country. Are you just going? Okay, I'd really just want to stay in bed. I don't want to do anything. I just want my body to recover. Or are you loving it? I love it. I look forward to every every show actually. I really, really do. And how did you get into the whole thing? Like, for people out there that do love dancing and think that they're, they're quite good at making up their own dance moves and stage shows, how do you become who you are? Well, not who you are, obviously, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, first, my mom gives birth to me. Right. Oh. And how did that go for her? How many hours in labour? <laughs> it went pretty well, pretty well. Okay, that's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like to learn a lot about the people we speak to. <laughs> um... I mean, everybody has their own different path, you know what I mean? Like, for me, um, honestly, I'm growing up, I wanted to be an actor, and mm-hmm. which I still do want to do. Um, did I say do-do? Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> if you want, man, <laughs> if you want, I know Peter Jackson, I can flick you his number if, if you're keen. Name <laughs> Jeropa. Hey, look, if he wants to be an actor, I heard there's a new Lord of the Rings coming out, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right, well, let's do it. Um, like, in high school, I just started... I was doing a lot of straight plays and acting and stuff like that and I started m- doing musical theater which musical theater obviously has a lot of um, heavy dance in it and um, I kind of found my love for it there and I was good at it um, <laughs> so I kind of went with it and everything just kind of fell into place and then when I started dancing I honestly I, w- I did want to start choreographing but as I got into it a little more I wasn't interested in choreographing anymore I wanted to just always be in the spotlight. <laughs> Do you sometimes feel like you just want to push Pink off stage? <laughs> <laughs> and be like, Never this is that. all about me, Biatch. This is Never my show. That. Never that. Oh. Well, you but are I the do. main like guy dancer in the show anyway, so you know, yeah, there's a bit yeah, of spotlight yeah. there. And I, there's also, I um, stumbled across a video on YouTube where the spotlight's on you. In a Christina Aguilera concert, you are, um, I guess, dancing gyrating up against a chair or something very <laughs> what? yeah yeah at, at that point in my life i was i was just called the man in the box i didn't even have a name anymore it was like that's the man in the box that's the boy in the box 